Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, you will learn how to cherry pick in Git. So if you want to pick some cherries, keep watching. Now let's have a look at Git cherry pick, when to use it and what it does. It brings the changes from a specific commit. So you can look at another branches. Let's say someone fixed a bug that you have in your branch and you want to bring in just that one commit and not the whole branch. That's where you would use cherry picking. You can choose one commit or multiple commits if you want to, and they will be brought into your branch. This is what we will have in VS Code when we switch to the code. We'll have two branches, my branch and his branch, and three commits on my branch and two commits on his branch. And we've decided to bring in these double A commit into our branch. Okay, so how would we do it? We could use git merge or rebase and bring both changes, but that's not what we want. We only want to bring that one change. Okay, so we only want to bring this one over here. And for that, we will use the git cherry picking. And now let's switch to VS Code and see it in action. In VS Code, we'll switch to his branch and we'll find out the ID of the commit that we want to bring in. So git checkout hyphen will switch to the previous branch we had checked out. And now we can have a look at the git log and find out the ID of the commit. Okay, so this one is the one we want to bring in to my branch. Again, git checkout hyphen switches back to my branch and now we can cherry pick. and put the ID after that. When we execute this, we will create a new commit on our branch that will have the changes, okay? So we've got the changes over here, that's the double A commit. And if we look at git log, we'll see that we have a new commit with new ID on our branch. So it's a similar to rebasing, you creating new commits. So just make sure you understand that when you bring the change into your branch, it will apply the same change, but create a new commit. Okay, so that's how it works. It's pretty simple. And you could also choose multiple commits instead of just one, and you would include them over here. Okay, so by that, it will create multiple commits for each of them that you are bringing in. Now, what if we wanted to bring the changes in, but don't commit it straight away? What if we wanted to maybe add couple other changes before we made the initial commit. And for that, we can also use git cherry pick, specify the commit we want to merge in, and then a hyphen N, which stands for no commit, will bring the changes, will stage them in our working directory, but will not create the commit straight away. Okay, so let's do this. We see the change coming in, and then we see the stages. We see the file staged, instead of being straight away committed. Okay, so this lets us bring the change, modify it, add to it, create a new commit message, and then merge it. Okay, so that's how you bring the changes. That's how you cherry pick without committing. And now we can simply commit it with our custom message, and we are done. Okay, as you can see, cherry picking is quite straightforward. Let's you bring in specific changes from specific commits, instead of bringing the whole branch in. I hope it was useful and you learned something new about cherry picking in a Git. And if you did enjoy this Git tutorial, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all the other cool tutorials. And let me know in the comments what else related to Git you would like to see covered next. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.